Today I'm going to introduce about WISE 2410, Building Vibration and Temperature Sensing Module. Let's go start it. This is the topology of today's video. WISE 2410 is going to send data, vibration and temperature data to the gateway through LoDa WAN protocol. And this is the gateway WISE 6610. It has a built-in low-rate environment. This user can utilize this environment to build up a dashboard like this to collect, uh, to collect and parsing and then visualizing the parameter results that received from WISE 2410. To configure these two modules, we can utilize a computer or a laptop using WISE Studio to connect with WISE 2410 through USB cable or utilize Google browser or any browser to connect with 6610 through Ethernet cable. This is ISO 10816 standard. This ISO stand, uh, de defined the vibration sensing standards the first step, user has to choose a sensor with the frequency range at at least 1 kHz. And WISE 2410, the spec of WISE 2410, it supports 10 Hz to 1 kHz vibration frequency sensing. So, a user can choose our module, of course. And the second step is to calculate the vibration velocity grooming square. And why is 2410? We, we are not just uh, retrieve raw data. The firmware will help user to calculate the velocity grooming square before send out to the gateway. So uh, user no need to worry about this uh, calculation part. We already calculate for you, okay? And the next one is to determine the comfort zone of your motor. Motor can be small, middle size, or large size. In our demonstration, we use uh, small size. So smaller, smaller motor, of course, the vibration should be smaller. The larger size should be large. The vibration, acceptable vibration uh, range could be larger. So according to this ISO standard, you can set up the uh, evaluation comfort zone, healthy zone. On the WISE module, you can set up the alarm. Set up the alarm for um, velocity roomy square threshold. And add on function is to connect with IoT world. WISE 6610 gateway, it has no red environment, means a user can configure or to let it connect with all kinds of cloud functions like uh, our WISE Pass or WebSS or Azure, for example. This is ISO defined installation uh, testing, acceptable installation testing location. There are a lot of, a lot of uh, different appearance of, more, of a motor or a pump or AC or anything, okay? So no matter which side, which, which shape it has, WISE, just remember, WISE install at the center because WISE 2410 has three dimensions, all in one. You, so no need to separate X, Y, or Z axis. So because it is all in one sensor, so just install at the center. See this, just uh, install wise module at the center. So it, it will fit ISO standard. This is our demo motor. This is the small size motor and this one is speed controller. I can control the speed with this one and then the speed will show on the LED. This is 24, WISE 2410 module vibration sensing mode 
Sensi module and this one Ooh. is Y6610 module, the Lodak Wind Gateway. Okay. If you are interested about how to connect Y2410 to the Lodak Wind Gateway, you can check our link or there's a link at the below description. You can check our Aiden forum for the FAQ for the documentation for this SOP connection. Next is another link for how to power on this module. There are two options. One is by USB cable. Another one is by batteries. In this demonstration, I'm going to use batteries to power on this module. This is 3.6 batteries for each 3.6 volt for each battery this one is uh, the switch after I power it on you can also power on from this uh, location and the bottom is the magnum it's, it is not part of the standard accessory of this wise module so if you are interested so you can search online Okay. Remember, I have introduced about you have to install the WISE module at the center of this motor. Now it is connected. And here is the dashboard of uh, our sensing module. WISE 2410, I set up, it will collect the data from the motor every 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, it will send the data to WISE. 6610 the gateway and then the gateway we utilize we utilize one dashboard no pseudo no red and then create this uh, visualization dashboard you can see this is uh, from through so, uh, MQT, MQTD data including Y uh, device description now I'm power the power source is utilize the battery and battery voltage 3.5 to 1 volt, volt. The timestamp, the um, frame count, RCSI, SNR, or the velocity Rumi square values for each dimension x axis, y axis, and z axis. And the temperature, the temperature is not the room temperature, this is for the temperature of this motor. Okay, the temperature is 25 degree and this is alarm. For the demonstration purpose, I set up alarm threshold very low value, only 0 0.5 for X axis. This is for demonstration purpose. If you are using for your motors, I suggest to follow ISO standard according to the size of your motor it is. Okay, after I speed up, the expect uh, resource is this alarm, X access alarm will be red color. So now I speed down this motor. This is the uh, speed. So after 10 seconds, this wife will send the data to the gateway and then see it is alarm is uh, Red now. The volume is 3 for x axis. This is my demo. Now let's go check uh, the real application in our headquarters building, shall we? This uh, pump system is in our headquarters, Adventic headquarters. Let's go and check it. The size of this motor is different, but as ISO standard, you have to install at the center. is now installed. Let's go and check the gateway right now. This is the control control room. Okay. Okay. And this you can see this uh, already connect with the data and it can collect 
and it can collect the data from from the pump system this far. Okay, this is today's video. If you really like our video, please give us some thumbs up and click on subscription for our channel, YouTube channel. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day.